so you you've given the advice of like you need to have delusions of grandeur like where you yeah. need to like see yourself better than, than where you are now and i try to do that but one of my problems is the fact that like it, if someone around me points out that like oh no you're really this person inside and if i know if like if like they're just obviously trying to like make fun of me or something then it's like okay i can deal with it. that's just here but like if, if they're like saying logical things like no this is actually you're actually just bullshitting yourself this is why i can point and can, and can point to things about you in your past then i'm just like i find it hard to argue it because it's, it's it's in a way it's kind of true and i wonder if this ties to your beliefs about effective beliefs versus true beliefs or something yeah so i mean there's a few ways to look at this so one of them is and this is just a i think a good way to look at yourself and your past is that you are not your past right it is only what you did right uh okay. you know uh, it, it's the same thing as like when we identify right when people say i'm i'm an angry person well no that's that's not true it's better to say that in the past, I have had trouble controlling my anger. I've, I've struggled with with anger in the past, right? It's not identifying who you are; it's just saying what's happened, right? Historically, in the past. So, because it's important to not deny it, right? If someone says, "Oh, why are you trying to act like you're confident? You're really insecure," you know, and they point out something, you know, stop trying to pretend like like this isn't it's not the case. You know, for you to be like, no, 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 I'm, I'm completely confident. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, it just appears that I'm insecure because that's, you know, that's whatever. Like, you know, in, in making up some kind of excuse, that's not. That's just delusions. <laughs> okay, right? Like, it's, it's better to acknowledge and say, yeah, you know, it's something that I've, I've struggled with, but that's not who I am. Right. And that's, that's kind of the vision that you have to have for it. And when I talk about having delusions of grandeur, it's not like sitting, you know, at, in your, at your computer playing world of Warcraft all day and then saying, Oh, I'm a, I'm a stud. Like I'm a lady <laughs> killer <laughs> and I'm so much smarter than everyone else. And like, that's, that's just delusional, right? Delusions of grandeur is more like, you know, believing of your in that you holding yourself to a higher standard right it's like saying you know for example when i was was doing the the running the ultra running right i had myself like my delusions of grandeur was that i am an ultra runner right i can run for miles and miles and that's like i'm tough as fucking nails and i can deal with any kind of obstacle that comes my way and I can just keep on running for as long, you know, no matter how fucking tired I am, or how much pain I'm in, I'm a machine, right? That was my delusions of, of grandeur. And so that's a standard that I held myself to, right? Now, obviously, there's some point in which I will give up. Obviously, there's some point in which I will break, right? But my delusions of grandeur is that there's nothing that can fucking stop me. I'm unstoppable, right? And that I'll never quit and that I'll always go forward, right? I'll never give up. So that's a standard that I held myself that pulled me in that direction. It's not me just, you know, pretending like I'm something I'm not without, without earning it. It's more about a perception of who you are and then rising to meet that standard that you have for yourself. That's, that's the key. And then it doesn't matter what anyone else says, because what you believe about yourself is important. And again, a lot of this comes down to one of the key tenets of of masculinity of being a man which is using your own internal judgment right this is something that many men struggle with in fact if i had to give one key attribute of being a man what does it mean to be a man it means to trust in yourself right that that is what it is and that's what when, when people look for a man right when, when you look at that that definition of an, what people look for. And it, it's someone that they can rely on, they can trust because they're a leader, because they have their own internal compass and they have confidence in themselves. So, so really, you know, the, the key thing is to shift that focus from saying, okay, well, other people are saying I'm this or whatever judgments that they have and saying, well, what do I believe about myself? And that's important. What is my judgment of the situation? Doesn't matter if, because 
this has to hold up. Remember, you're dealing with one person, but in order to truly be a leader, to truly be the man that you're capable of being, you have to be able to stand up against 10,000 people saying you're wrong and disagreeing with you and you still trusting in yourself. That's really where we're going. And that's, that's really where, where we want to get to as men is to get to that much confidence in ourselves. Again, it's, it can be delusion if you believe something totally ridiculous and you, and you're not backing it up and you're not taking steps in that direction, right? If it's, if it's just, you know, a justification, right? It should never be a justification. It should be, this is the standard that I'm holding myself to a much higher standard than what I am right now it's delusional the standard that i believe that i'm so good so superior and because of that i act in this way right that's that's what we're aiming for is that kind of a delusion of grandeur okay so when you so from what i understand it seems like when it comes to delusions of grandeur mm. it's when you're you in, you have a goal you intend to be a specific type of person and then you see yourself as that person already while you're working towards that being that person as opposed to just like that world of warcraft example where you're saying like oh i'm a stud but i'm not doing anything to be a stud right exactly yeah it's like oh, okay. even like even like like let, let's take you know a situation where i use it in, in coaching a lot like coaching a guy like let's say in game or pickup like going out to a bar to meet women or something like the vision that I'll have the guy have in his head is that, or that I have in my own head is that I'm, I'm a fucking stud. Like I'm awesome. Right. Like I am, I am the, the man here. Right. So I have this very high delusion of, you know, in my, but it's because of that. Now I must prove it by doing the things that a guy that's fearless would fucking do. Right. So like, just oh, take that okay. one thought in my head. If I come into a bar and I'm going to go like talk to girls, right. Let's, let's say, and I have this, this delusion of grandeur in my head that I am fucking fearless, right? Then that is propelling me now to take the action of, well, if I said I'm fearless, then I must act fearless. So I'm acting this way now because I have this delusion in my head. So I'm meeting that standard, right? You have so the system of your beliefs. Exactly. If I come into a workout and I'm like, I'm unstoppable. I'm a fucking badass. I go until I drop. Right, and I'm I'm the hardest working person in this fucking room, right? Again, that might not necessarily be true. It might be a delusion of grandeur, but I'm gonna fucking perform like that's the case because I want to prove that to myself and to everyone because I that's what I am choosing to believe, right? That's how it becomes valuable. It's it's not valuable when you sit on your ass and you're like, oh yeah, I'm better than everyone. You use those these justifications to say why you're not taking action. This is reasons to take action. It should be something that's making you take action, not something that's making you say, oh, I don't need to take action because I know in my head that I'm actually really good. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I got it. And then one more thing, just to piggyback off what, what you're saying. Um, you're saying that like, as a man, you like one of the most important things is to trust yourself and like, like, like basically all things based on your, your own judgment, judge your, like your, your own judgment being at the top of the tier. Like, right. so does that mean like, doing something like questioning your own questioning your own sanity like because like because obviously like someone could just say you're crazy like say so, so someone could just say like you're crazy like you're a fool like you're actually like you, you doing what you doing makes no sense like so questioning like your own your own sanity or your own intelligence is that typically a bad thing when it comes to being a man then well sense. you know you have to be rational with like have a accurate assessment of yourself right again yeah you know, we've got that exercise in the membership but the looking in the mirror exercise right that's being it's being like okay this is where i'm actually at like it, it's an honest assessment of where you are again mm -hmm. you know you're you, you have to know where you are in order to get to where you want to be right yeah. it, it's sort of like the delusion of grandeur part of it is is like the higher self your cap capability that you believe about yourself, right? And so yeah. you live up to that standard. At the same time, you're honest at where you are, where you are physically, where you are mentally, where you are, you know, so you have to constantly be checking yourself, but you can't be doubting yourself, right? It's it's like it's like trying to get an honest assessment of of where you're you're lying right now, as opposed to trying to double you know, uh, second guess yourself or having doubts in yourself, right? It's just, I need to know where things are. I think, again, think about it as like life is a chess game, right? It's like, 
you need to know where the pieces are, right? You still think you're going to win and you're going to have a positive outlook and you know that you're, you, you have the ability to succeed at this game, but where are the actual pieces? You can't lie to yourself about where the pieces are.